Hi Taurus and welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This, as you know, is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus sign. We will take a look at the cards to get a sense of the awareness for the week. Okay, so we have the Magician, Major Arcana. We have the Queen of Cups, uh, a return from the Queen of Cups, and the Five of Wands. So with the Magician, we see uh, him, looks like he's uh, weaving a spell, but he's weaving his own spell. And the Magician is um, an encouragement to you that you hold all the magic in your hands. You hold the talent, the skills, your personal wisdom that's going to allow you to think and to be creative and to hope for certain things to happen in your life. Whether you want a family, whether you want a certain type of job, when you, whether you want a life of travel, but the magician is telling you that yes, you do have everything that you need. You have all of the resources available to you that the universe has blessed you with. But those resources are uh, they're not very helpful if you don't pull them all together and if you don't blend them and if you don't make them work for you. So it's a matter of visualizing and of having faith in your own abilities, in your own sense of direction and focus of what you want to create and what you want to manifest and what you want ha to happen in your life. And I think the big thing that happens first is you have to see it. You have to visualize it. You have to have that sense of this is what I want. And then by mixing all the elements, by putting it in the, in the, in the magician's hat, you know, out comes the rabbit that you're hoping for or, you know, the, the result. But the result is through faith and it's through action and taking action. You know, it's not a gift. It's, this is a push to you to be able to put it all together and to make moves and to perhaps assess, you know, what your talents are. If my dream was to run a, a less than six minute mile, that's a really tough one because you know what I can barely run an, a nine or ten minute mile. So you know my dreams are in different directions. I, I have an assessment of how <laughs> of what I'm good at and what I have potential in. And then from there I'm gonna create and hopefully go down the path of the of the events and the life that I want to lead. So that's what the magician brings to us. It's making your own magic, but also appreciating the skills and the talents that you do have. So we have the beautiful Queen of Cups, water energy, going with the flow, uh, leaning on people for support if necessary. Perhaps you're the, the uh, support to others. But the Queen of Cups is kind, she's considerate, she understands uh, how people are feeling. So she has that empathy, she has the perhaps that in psychic or intuitive self where you really, you get it. And uh, she can feel it. And with that, she's able to objectively listen and to say, you know, you're coming from an emotional place, but to be a solid person versus, um, you know, any other type of advice that we might get if we're feeling overly emotional or if things are going uh, astray and within our life. It's nice to have someone who has experience, who has wisdom, who comes from a place of loving, who comes from a place of unconditional love that no matter what you share, that she's going to be there for you. And again, whether this is someone within your circle or if this is you, 
providing that support to someone within your family or a coworker or a friend. Support is always welcome. It's nice to have loving, kind, and considerate people in our lives. And, you know, the Queen of Cups is looking over here at the Five of Wands. And the Five of Wands uh, brings in a sense of partic particularly or, or possibly conflict, arguments, petty disagreements, uh, nuisances. You know how you just get into little silly discussions with people and maybe someone walks away ticked off. This Five of Wands could suggest that people maybe are not working together, not listening to each other, that there's a power struggle going on. In some cases, the Five of Wands can be good, healthy competition of, you know, may the best man win. But more often than not, you know, it's we have, as a part of our daily life, we have days where we're in conflict, where we're just like, you know, what are you thinking, man? And you have these moments and we deal with them and then they're temporary and we move on. So perhaps the message that the Queen of Cups would be saying that, you know, listen, in the conflict or the disagreements that you may be having, show some kindness, show some consideration. Uh, don't, don't forget to be human with people and uh, try to steer uh, or to reduce the vibration of anger and reduce it with more love. So loving energy, a lot of potential here for manifestation, which is beautiful. Of course, there's uh, going to be times when we have conflict and we just have to deal with it. And that's what it is. So let's take a look at the numerology. We have one, two, and two and five is seven. Seven is about discovery. It's about the mind. It's about gaining knowledge and perhaps using the wisdom that you have in order to sort out these type of um, scenarios, these things that happen. And finally, I'm going to choose an Oracle card and we'll get a little more information. Passion. And I love seeing passion next to the magician because it, it really is uh finding your sense or your your purpose of what we want to create and what we put the time into doing and the desire to make things happen if you don't love that path then it's going to be really tough and in life if you can do things that you love it's not going to feel like work. It's going to feel like you're just fulfilling the, the part of your life that brings you happiness, that brings you joy. And that's the root of having passion within your life. Passion for your hobbies, passion for your partner, passion for, you know, good lives for your children. But it really is such an important idea that everyone has to really think about what are my passions how can I make them more present within my life if I'm in a job that doesn't serve that what can I do to bring it into make into the forefront of my life so a lot to think about I hope that you have an awesome day and if you enjoyed this reading please subscribe if you haven't already welcome to New subscribers, thank you to all who take the time to watch. I greatly appreciate it. Like, share, comment, and I will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.